Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Dyke Bear for Sunday, November 30th. It's the first Sunday of Advent, and it's the first day of the new church year. The scripture for this service, Psalm 113, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1 through 10, and Luke, the Song of Simeon, Luke 2, verse 29 to 32. And please join me in singing uh, verse 3 of Come Thou Long Expected Jesus by Charles Wesley to the tune of Stuttgart. Born your people to deliver, born a child and yet a king, born to reign in us forever, now thy gracious kingdom bring. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault. In our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise, O oh servants of God. Praise the name of God Most High, Psalm 113, and please recite it together with me. Praise, O servants of God, praise the name of God Most High. Blessed be your name, O God, from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun until its going down, your name is to be praised. You are high above all heavens and your glory is above the heavens. Who is like you that dwells on high, who stoops to behold the things that are in heaven and on the earth? You raise the poor out of the dust and lift the needy out of the dunghill. You set them at the table with the leaders of the nations, even with the rulers of the peoples. You give the barren a home and make her a joyful mother of children, we praise you, God Most High. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Praise, O servants of God. Praise the name of God Most High. A reading from <clears throat> a reading from the second letter of Peter, chapter three, beginning at verse one. This is now, beloved, the second letter I am writing to you. In them I am trying to arouse your sincere intention by reminding you that you should be, remember the words spoken in the past by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Most High and Savior spoken through your apostles. First of all, you must understand this, that in the last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and indulging their own lusts and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For ever since our ancestors died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore this fact, that by the word of God heavens existed long ago, and an earth was formed out of water and by means of water, 
through which the world of that time was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been reserved for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us say the capital together. And now, O tender God, let your servant go in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the face of the nations, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And may the almighty and merciful God, the source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us, now and forever. 